All right. Welcome, friends. Here we are getting ready for Lab 3. I'll start by going to my File menu and choosing Open. And then I need to navigate to my Week 3, where I've already downloaded and installed, as you can see here, the Week 3 Lab. And it's this whole folder that I want to put in there, the whole folder called Review Lists and Images. So I'm going to click that and choose Open. Oh, I thought I did this last time. Yes, I do trust it. OK, so now you can see here I've got my Week 3 Lab. It's called Lists, Review Lists and Images. I've got an Assets folder. Inside my Assets folder, I've got an Images folder. And I have two images. I also have, you'll notice, an index.txt plus a howto.txt. So let's get right to work on formatting the index.txt. As you know, the first trick here is going to be to save it as and replace the txt with HTML. This is, interestingly, uh, something that are often forgotten. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it right here in my, at the root level. The TXT files are definitely assets, but the uh, HTML file is not an asset. It's a page. And if you looked at the slideshows for this week, there were two of them. The first slideshow that you saw about links gives you a little uh, file hierarchy overview. All right, so let's just start with getting the regular HTML tags. This is going to be my doc type tag. Oh, this is called the perfect kettlebell swing. So I'm going to do a return, go up a line, and now put in my doc type tag. Because of that thing we've encountered where it deletes a line, we don't want to do that. And then my beginning HTML tag. And I'm going to add the attribute lang meaning language, equals en, meaning English. And just because I like to do that thing that I call shut the door, I'll close that tag right here. Then I'll get my head tags in. These are just the standard tags that you know you need to do. Oops. The title tag goes in the head tag. And let's close that title tag, then go to the next line and close the head tag. And I will, uh, why don't I name this kettlebell? Kettlebells, how about that? <coughs> so there's the title, the head, and now I'm just lacking the body tag before I get my formatting done. And shut the door. I can't, st I'm sorry, I can't stop myself from saying that. I'm sorry. Uh, Valerie Green, who created this exercise, said it would be really smart to have a kettlebell exercise right after the brownie exercise, right? <laughs> so we're just copying Valerie. Get my H1 in here, the perfect kettlebell swing. And then this looks like a paragraph. That's feels very standard. This also looks like a paragraph. Common kettlebell mistakes. I don't know. Do I want to call that a paragraph? No, I think I'll call it uh, H3. And then this looks like a list, right? It's an unordered list because it doesn't matter what order these things come in. But I know that I will want to delete these dashes since when I create my unordered list, it will put bullets there. Unordered list. And I will shut that door right now. And then I want my li tags here. And let's close that tag. Close
close this tag and close this one. All right, I'm going to do a save. And let me add one image. I'll just put it right. Actually, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look. Open in default browser. There it is. That looks pretty good. I think that when you show a list, uh, especially if you change the typeface from the heading of the list to this, you do not need a semicolon because it's understood that what follows this is going to be that. So I can take out the semicolon and I will add an image right up here. How's that? So I'm going to take out this semicolon. Remember, we're just always looking to see what the formatting is like. IMG space SRC, oops, RC equals, oops, and I'm going to let this wonderful piece of software, Visual Studio Code, direct me here. Assets, images, and I'll put in the cast iron kettlebell. And let's give it an alt attribute. Remember, that goes after the quotation marks. Alt equals, and I'll just say cast iron kettlebell. There we go. And have I closed this tag yet? No. All right. There we go. So now let's do a save and a refresh. Oh my gosh, look how huge that image is. This is the time to talk about, uh, we've already talked once about this, but let me explain it a little better. I'm going to add another attribute, and it's going to be width equals, uh, let's say, 250. So why am I putting in width but not height? Why don't I put them both in? Let's leave width equals 250 and see what that looks like. Save. Refresh. So there's what it looks like at 250. So I know this image is 250. Let's see by control clicking. Let's click inspect. And let's look at that image. There it is. It is perfectly square. So that would make it easy for me to put in width and height. However, it would not be easy if the image were a height that's different from a width because I, I know what height I want it to be, but I'm not a math whiz. I can't calculate easily what the width would be if these two were different and it wasn't square. So I'm going to close this and just show you a little bit. Let's imagine that I, it's not square. So if I add uh, height equals 400, save and refresh, then I've stretched the image. Now, I don't, I don't know how you guys uh, feel about this, but I'm just going to tell you it is a cardinal rule in graphic design. You do not stretch or squeeze any images ever, ever. So I'm going to take height right out of there and let the browser decide what the height should be based on the width that I have chosen. And we'll leave it, save, and refresh. So there it is, back to normal. Let me just quickly format the how-to page as well. I'll begin with a save as, because that's the way to start. I will tell you that some of you will forget this, and you'll email me and go, I don't understand why it's not working. And the reason will be because you didn't do that part. So I'm going to begin again with my doc type and my HTML tag and the attribute of language. And then my, yeah, I'm going to close it. Yep, right, right away. And then I'll get my head tags, head, title, head, and for title, I'll just give this one the title of Swing It. How's that? <laughs> All right, uh, body tags. And an H1 and a list. So there's H1. 
and here's my list. So to me, this looks like an ordered list. So I'll get those two tags on. I like to do the kind of list first, and then I'll just replace the one with an li because we know that the numerals will show up, right? We don't need to have them typed here. Mm. All right, save. Let's get the other image in here. IMG SRC equals quote mark. Let's let the browser find it for us. And this time we'll take the kettlebell weights. We'll give it an alt and call that kettlebell B. Kettlebell weights. And then we'll close that tag. All right, let's save it and look at it in the browser. Oh my gosh, it's the same thing. So let's get a width on that. W-I-D-T-H equals. I'll do the same thing, 250, just to be consistent. Save and refresh. There we go. So that looks fine. And we'll link these two pages together on the next tutorial. Oh wait, let's do this. Got to keep ourselves honest. Control A, Control C. Got to validate, right? Look at my bookmark, work. Where's the validator? Here we are. Source and text input. Get rid of this. V, check. All right, it says my OL. OL is not allowed as a child element of OL. This is on line 16. Oh, this needs a forward slash. There we go. Control A, Control C. There we go. See how great the validator is? Let's validate the index.html page also. Control A, Control C. And check. Another good grade. All right. Onward.